If we need to sim simplify a complex number, let's say 2 plus 3i raised to the second power, we just need to multiply 2 plus 3i by itself two times. So I have 2 plus 3i times 2 plus 3i, and then you use your multiplication method to simplify your complex number raised to the second power. So if we have 2 plus 5i raised to the fifth power to uh, simplify this complex number raised to a power, we simply multiply 2 plus 5i by itself five times. Now, if you can see, the process is pretty tedious if you're going to raise a complex number to its power. So for today, we're going to learn a theorem or a formula that we can use so that we don't need to uh, do the tedious process of multiplying 2 plus 5i by itself according to its power. And that is what we call as the de Moyes theorem. Now, in the de Moyes theorem, He's a French mathematician who uh, formulated this formula. If we have a complex number converted into a trig form, like z equal to r cosine theta plus i sine theta, then if we raise this into power, so z to the n, which is equal to r cosine theta plus i sine theta raised to n, can be evaluated or simplified using this formula, which is r to the n times cosine n times uh, theta plus i sine n theta. And this is what we're going to use to simplify a complex number raised into a power. In our first example, we're going to raise negative 1 plus i squared of 3 to the 12th power. Now, we're not going to manually or to multiply negative 1 plus i squared of 3 by itself 12 times. We're going to use the Moyes theorem so we can simplify this complex number. So the first step is to convert our complex number to its trig form. So we need our r and we need our theta to change it into the trig form of the complex number. So the to find r, we need to get the absolute value of your complex number, which is simply square root of a squared plus b squared, and r is equal to 2 after we convert or after we change our complex number and find its r. Now to find theta, the formula is tan inverse b over a, which gives us tan inverse of negative square root of 3 over 1. And if you use the unit circle or your calculator, you will get theta is equal to negative 60 degrees. So now that we have our r and our theta, we can change or convert our complex number into its straight form. So now we have 2 times cosine theta plus i sine theta, and using the de Moyes theorem for z to the n, we will use r raised to the n times cosine n theta plus i sine n theta, where n is our exponent or the given exponent, r is the modulo right here that we have just um, solved, and theta will be 60 degrees or negative 60 degrees, which we found in this step. Now to substitute our values to our de Moyes theorem, we'll have 2 raised to 12 cosine 12 times negative 60 degrees plus i sine 12 times negative 60 degrees. And to further simplify this, you'll have cosine negative 720 degrees, which is 12 times negative 60, and 2 raised to 12 will give you 4096. Now, using your unit circle, you need to find the value for cosine negative 720 degrees and sine negative 720 degrees. Now, if you'll notice in your unit circle, your unit circle will only give you the values from 0 up until 360 degrees. Now 720 degrees is not in the unit circle, so what you need to do is to find its coterminal angle by making 720 smaller. And how do you make it smaller? By adding 360 from negative 720 and you'll get negative 360. And negative 360 is now in the unit circle, so you can use your unit circle now to simplify cosine negative 720. So we have cosine negative 360 degrees plus i sine negative 360 degrees. And in our unit circle, which is right here, cosine of negative 360 is 1, and sine of negative 360 will be 0. And by distributive property, if we distribute 4 Zero nine six to 1, it's going to be 4096. And if we distribute 4096 to 0, which is simply 0, we'll have to eliminate our imaginary number. So therefore, 
negative 1 plus i squared of 3 raised to 12 is simply equal to 4096. And th these are the steps that we will use in solving or simplifying complex number raised into a power. Now let's use the Des Moines theorem to solve for 1 plus i raised to the fifth power. So step one is conversion. Find the value of r and find the value of theta so you can convert it into trig function. r is equal to square root of 2 and theta will be equal to 45 degrees using the formula. So now we have our trig form which is square root of 2 times cosine 45 degrees plus i sine 45 degrees. And using the Des Moines theorem, so we can expand or we can simplify 1 plus i to the fifth, we'll have square root of 2 raised to the fifth power, which is your n, cosine 5 times 45 degrees plus i sine 5, 45 degrees, which gives you, when you multiply 5 and 45, 225 degrees. Now using your unit circle once again, cosine 225 degrees will be negative square root of 2 over 2 and sine of 225 will be negative square root of 2 over 2. So to simplify this expression, just distribute ne um, square root of 2 raised to the fifth power to your terms right here. So you'll have square root of 2 raised to 6 all over 2 and negative square root of 2 raised to 6 all over 2. And by simplifying the square root or square root of 2 raised to the 6th power, you'll have 8 all over 2 and 8 all over 2 for the other side of the expression. So now to evaluate i or 1 plus i raised to the 5th power, simplify your expression and you'll have negative 4 minus 4i. And this is how we raise 1 plus i to the fifth power using the Des Moines theorem.